I'm now going to demonstrate a very important program called Auction Inquisitor. This program will scan eBay auctions and alert you to common signs of fraud. You should always use this software before bidding on an auction. I've already downloaded and installed the Auction Inquisitor software from the auctioninquisitor.com website. It's available in the Start menu, and you can also see that it has created a shortcut on the desktop. I'm going to double click on my desktop shortcut for Auction Inquisitor. The program loads with the default page. You can view this instructional video by clicking on the View Instructional Video link. It will also show you the latest version and alert you if you need to download a new version. I'm going to open up my Internet Explorer and go to eBay. I've located an item on eBay Motors that I might be interested in. I'm going to double click on the auction number and then right click to select Copy. You can copy and paste the URL or the item number. I'll now paste this number into the Auction Inquisitor program. You can also type it in using the keyboard. I'll now click Analyze Auction. It will take several seconds for the program to go out to the internet, collect all the information, and show the report. As I scroll down, I see a number of failures. I'll come back to these in a moment. Under Seller Feedback, you can see the seller's feedback history as well as a summary of neutral and negative feedback. As we scroll lower, we see a number of items marked as unsure. Unsure means that you need to look closely at this part of the report and decide for yourself whether or not it's a pass or fail. As I scroll down, under the seller sales history, it says compare the seller's current auctions and past auctions if they are noticeably different or if the seller has suddenly changed from selling inexpensive items to listing several auctions for expensive cars, laptops, or other high-priced items, this may be a hijacked account. As I look at my listings, under the Seller Recently Sold, I see a number of items that have expired. These were sold many months ago. Beneath that, under the Seller's Current Auctions, I see that the seller has suddenly listed five expensive vehicles for sale. This is extremely abnormal. I know immediately that this is a hijacked account. A scammer has taken over an innocent person's account and they have listed a number of fraudulent auctions for vehicles. Anyone who pays for these vehicles will be scammed out of their money. They will never receive their vehicle. I know this is a hijacked account because this person has no history of selling vehicles and they have no positive feedback related to selling vehicles. I'm going to scroll down farther. You'll see there are some other unsure items. These are also items that you must check. You can read the paragraphs below them. They will explain what you need to look at and what you should compare to decide whether or not this is a legitimate auction. I'll scroll down farther. We have a fail return policy. Seller has not defined a return policy. Sometimes you will see this failure on legitimate auctions. Sellers may put their return policy in the auction itself or they may simply forget to list it. This failure means that they did not list it in the correct area when they set up their auction. A single failure, or even a couple of failures, does not mean that an auction is fraudulent. There may be legitimate reasons for some items to fail, such as this return policy, which is simply not listed. As we scroll down, we see another listing, Fail Shipping. Seller has not included shipping details. Sometimes sellers include the shipping details in the text of their auction description. This is good, but it's not the only place it should be shown. A seller must also include their shipping information in the correct area when setting up the auction. Sometimes sellers may forget, but they should include this information, and you should never purchase from any seller who does not reveal their shipping costs. As we scroll down farther, we see the test summary. This particular seller has passed 13 tests and failed 12. You cannot look at the total number passed and failed and decide, just because someone's passed more than they failed, that it's a legitimate auction. A single failure can indicate a fraudulent auction. A single failure may also not mean anything. It depends on what that failure is and what the content of the auction is. You have to look at the failure, read the instructional paragraph, and decide for yourself whether or not that failure is valid or if it's not important. I'm going to go back up and look at our failures on this auction again. There are a large number of failures, including abnormal request, vehicle fraud alert, seller threats, abnormal syntax, and unusual demands. This seller has a large number of failures, and we've already established that this is a hijacked account, so we know this is a fraudulent auction. 
Even if I did not know that this was a hijacked account, I would never purchase from this person because they have an excessive number of failures in their report. You have to look at the entire report. You cannot look at one or two failures and say that because there were failures, the seller cannot be trusted. You have to use your own judgment. This report provides you with information that you can use to make an informed decision about whether or not you want to purchase from someone on eBay.